Hi there, this is Mr Evans. This video looks at cost, revenues and profit. Um, it's not actually specifically in the um, specification here, um, but these are really key terms that you need to understand uh, this finance unit, particularly in the next few videos on um, break-even. <coughs> so, just to uh, clarify what we mean by these uh, terms, costs are the expenses that a business incurs in order to operate. In other words, things that a business spends money on in order to um, uh, perform its day-to-day -day operations. Um, we can categorise these as startup costs, which are uh, one-off uh, expenditure items um, that are incurred at the setup stage of a business. Um, <coughs> So that's what startup costs are. Uh, examples of vans and things. I'm not saying the business will keep the same vans forever, of course, we'll have to replace them at some point. Um, but these uh, startup costs are, are incurred when the business sets up. Um, running costs are the day to day costs incurred in order for a business to operate. Um, so these would be things like the wages that they need to pay, electricity bills, rent, and so on and so forth. Um, there's uh, two different types of cost um, that you need to be aware of. The first, and the definitions of both of these are absolutely key, um, fixed costs are the cost of a business that say, stay the same regardless of output. And that little bit at the end there, regardless of output, is the key part of this definition. Um, if you forget to put that bit in, uh, then um, you're going to uh, probably receive no marks. Okay, So costs to the business that stay the same regardless of output. So what does that mean? It means if I'm a bakery, my fixed costs remain the same regardless if I make zero loaves of bread or a million loaves of bread. Okay, So for example, the rent on my factory, let's say the rent on my factory is uh, £10,000 a month. If I make zero loaves of bread, um, I've still got to pay that rent. Um, if I make a million loaves of bread, the, the rent remains at 10,000. I've agreed that with the landlord. Um, it's just like if I pay rent on a flat. Um, I, I've uh, agreed to pay that. It doesn't matter how often I sleep at the flat, how many nights a month I'm there. I still I can be there every night, I can be there no nights. If I've signed an agreement saying I'm going to pay that, the costs don't change regardless of output, how much I'm, I'm using it. Um, advertising is another example of this. Okay, it doesn't matter how, you know, if I take out a thousand pound advert in the paper, if I make no loaves of bread, that advert costs me a thousand pounds. If I make a million loaves of bread, that advert costs me a thousand pounds. So, uh, rent, advertising, rates are another example. Rates are a uh, a kind of tax that businesses in the UK pay. It's like the equivalent of council tax but for businesses. Um, salaries, if people are on a fixed annual salary, um, doesn't matter how many hours they work, that, that, that salary remains the same, it's fixed. Um, interest rate payments on loans, etc. These are uh, fixed costs in the short term. That's not to say that they can't change. Uh, it's not to say that the rent will forever remain fixed at a certain level. Um, but usually you agree rent for, for maybe 12 or 24 months or something like that. And so um, in the short term, these costs are fixed and agreed. Variable costs, on the other hand, are costs of business that change in relation to output. So there's that phrase again, output. So uh, examples of these would be materials, wages and distribution costs. Now in this case, if I make zero loaves of bread, how much do I spend on flour? Well zero. I don't uh, use any flour. If each um, if each loaf costs me 50p in materials and I make a million uh, loaves of bread, I end up spending half a million pounds in variable costs on, on my materials. So um, uh, variable costs do change uh, regardless, uh, yeah, thank, in direct proportion to output or not necessarily in direct proportion actually uh, because you can get things like bulk buying but the more output that's made um, the uh, uh, the higher the variable costs will be <coughs> the top
total costs are all of the costs associated with the provision of a good or service, and we simply calculate total cost by adding fixed costs to the total variable costs. So uh, three different types of costs there. Um, if you want, you can uh, pause the video and try and uh, put those into fixed or variable costs. Um, there are the answers. Um, okay, so uh, next key term that you need to know is revenue. So we've thought about our costs. Well, why do we bother incurring costs? Because we're trying to sell something. Uh, and uh, we want to sell that in return for money. And revenue is simply the money earned in return for a sale of a business's goods or services. So the formula for revenue is the selling price times the number of units. So, how much we sell each unit for times how many units we sell. If I'm selling uh, each loaf of bread for a pound and I sell a million of them, I'm going to get a million pounds in revenue. That, of course, doesn't take into account the costs. Um, this is simply how much money we're getting in for selling our product. Okay. It is sometimes called sales revenue, it is sometimes called receipts, it is sometimes called turnover. Um, they all mean the same thing. Um, it's key that you know the formula for calculating revenue, as uh, key as it is to know the, the formula for calculating total costs. Um, and just be aware that revenue might be called uh, a couple of different things. Okay, so finally, profit. Uh, profit it can be defined as the excess amount of money made by a company when total revenue exceeds its total costs. The formula is total revenue minus total costs. So those two previous things we've calculated, how much were our costs, how much revenue did we get? Let's take our costs from our revenue. And if there is an excess, in other words, if the revenue is greater than the costs, we've made a profit. Of course, we might put this uh, calculation in and the costs outweigh the revenue, in which case we've made a loss, which is the negative difference between uh, the total cost and total revenue um, when uh, the total cost is greater than the total revenue. Okay, so some really key um, uh, terms for you to learn there. If you aren't sure of them, make sure that you know uh, the definitions and the formulas for each one.